giving all praises, glories, and honors unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. The Shalom to you, sincere brothers, pushing this truth and the true doctrine and the true name. This is Kodash Paya, and then this is basically part two uh, uh, ping ponging prior to the video I made about the uh, spiritual like the spiritual lifeboat, you know, because that, that spiritual lifeboat is like, it's like a man that's drowning, right? And you see the boat, you know, different boats passing by. They don't see you, but when it picks you up, it's like, all right, you know, now, you, now you're comforted. Now you don't really got to worry about, you know, drowning and whatnot. Now this truth, the scriptures, is that comforting. I was shy, the word, you know? And this is how we're, we're, we're going to be saved by the water. You know, by the water of this word. You got to understand, the majority of these people, they're going to drown in that fire, man. Because they're already dead. You know, they don't got that living water that shall flow out your your, your, your belly, you know. Like Yahweh Shah said. Right? Now, this is, uh, it's like, it's like, you know, the, the movie with, when you put, they put the water, you know, the exorcism, when they put the water on the, on the demon and it like burns them. It's like when we bring this word out to these people, it, it like pierces them. You know what I mean? It, it burns them. But anyway, this is the book. It's lucky. This is the book of Matthew 8 and 27. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of, of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? So, a you know, as a form of exhortation, no matter what type of storm you in, you know, you got to make the best of your storm, right? Meaning what? Uh, 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 you got to have, you know, that comfort of, of this word is going to comfort you while you're in the midst of the storm, you know? The Lord could could preserve you somewhere, you know, in a hiding spot that so that, won't, that storm won't overtake you, you know? Put you in secret places, so to speak, right? Now... Even the winds, the elements of the earth, the trees, the wind, the water, the seas obey, you know, Yahweh shot. And, and, and these people marveled after the power, you know, that he that he manifests through through his father Yahweh. Right? They said, What type of manner is he that even the seas obey him? You know? So with that being said, man, that should boost your faith with with, with it just being written because you know, my personal experiences, I, I could have been overthrown, you know, but the Lord always I, I, I threw in a handkerchief, basically, to lift me back up, you know, to bring me back up on his boat, man. You know, that art, that, that you know, that, that art, that spiritual art, that spiritual lifeboat, but, um, and that's how we want to be taken through the ships of when Yahweh Shai come back, like in Estra, when Estra saw the vision of that, that ship, you know, coming, you know, based, I think, what he described as a mountain, like, because it was so big, right, but Yahweh Shai is going to come back, that's Acts, what, 11 and 1, the same way he went up, in the clouds, he's going to come back, matter of fact, look, Acts 1 and 11, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven, this man, this, this same Yahweh Shah Mashiach, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So we know that he, he went into heaven with the, the chariots, the angels, man. That even that that it was so powerful it even caused earthquakes. Right? So that art, you know, like Noah, people only eight souls are saved by that art. This art is going to be the chariots that's going to save us through those, the, the, the lake of fire. Yeah? And I, so we won't be drowned and overtaken by, by, by this world as well. 1 Peter 4 and 18. And, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where, where shall the ungodly and sinners appear? Khan. Scarcely be saved, you know? You may be in a, 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 a situation and you thinking that that's it, it's finished, you know, you're just, you about to, you know, uh, uh, just lay on your back, and there's no, nah, the Lord, the Lord will come through right at the moment you really need him, right, 
We always doubt so, man. It's good to tell you come as a thief in the night. You know, the Lord just comes unaware, like, ah, I got you. You know? But, uh, so yeah, man, in the storm, you gotta, you gotta put that, 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 that life jacket on, so to speak. All right, uh, this is Psalms, chapter 107, verse 25. For he commandeth and raiseth the stormy wind, which lifted up the wave thereof. Con, Psalms 107, 29. He maketh the storm a calm, so that so that the waves thereof are still. Right, so the Lord will, oh, you know, you, you may be in a situation, you know, it seems so stormy. Everything's coming from all angles. You know, you, 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 you need that refuge, right? Which is Yahweh Shah. That would, you know, to, to comfort you. And, 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 you know, the Lord could calm the whole, you know, you think thinking your whole shit situation's gonna crash. And boom, right there, you know, you sent up prayers. Sincerely, the Lord could just come through and calm the whole storm. You know, there's different types of storms. People go through different types of situations. Tribulations, trials, you know, you may have, you may, have, some may have it worse than others and vice versa. Some people going through tornadoes, you going through a tsunami, like it, it's just, you know, putting into in, in, into perspective and, and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha with the elements, because he's, he's the one that, that's orchestrating, you know, everything. But anyway, Salakia, but anyway, with that, we give all praises, glories, and honor. Uh, matter of fact, yeah, Psalms 148 and 8, fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind, fulfilling his word. So the Lord, you know, the Lord is the one that's orchestrating your situation. So you don't think he can take you out of it? Come on. All right? It's about faith. That's, that's what it's about. It's about having that faith, brothers. You know, because you don't just say you have faith. You know, you you got to prove to to not only the others but to yourself that you have faith by what by going through these experiences, overcoming it, enduring through it, right? That's why Paul said, "I have fought the good fight of faith," because he still don't got the crown yet, but he fought what the battles and endured the trials that he that 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 you know he had to go through, right? Because the other others got. You know, heavier trials than you know what I mean. The Lord said, uh, uh, He will not put you into a situation that you cannot bear. Roughly paraphrasing, you know. But um, let me see if there's any more precepts, right? That was a good one. The other one. With stormy winds, fury is overflowing. Con. Just could just tell you, you know, the Lord's gonna come with with, with storms, right? And you see all these uh earthquakes in diverse places and and and, and you know the Lord is bringing his judgment but on these other lands, you know, destroying the crops. You know, it's about how you overcome the storm. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.